Oh my god, guys. The moist critical situation is crazy. Mo moist critical situation is insane. It's time to make a generic video with an insanely creative title, uh, where I just hit record and write a fence like a dirty h Okay, yeah, so if you can't tell, this video is definitely not about the moist critical situation. Or at least not the one that you think it's about, like the whole Sneeko debate or whatever. Yeah, no, if you really want my opinion on that, uh, to be honest, they both suck ass at debating, uh, like, like, entirely. But one of them is just not a good person, and the other one is horrible at getting his point across, which is ironic, because that's his job. But hey, whatever, listen, you want my opinion? The age of consent uh, should definitely be 18, and kids should definitely not be able to transition genders. There you go, okay? It didn't need a milked eight minute video. There you go. There's my opinion. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Um, no, no. The moist critical situation I want to talk about is the rest of the stuff that he said in this video, um, about commentary as a whole. He brought up a pretty big issue just about the internet, but he didn't exactly expand upon it. So that's what I'm gonna do, because it directly reflects my channel and the content that I make. So he basically said that, um, he feels obligated to make drama videos, because A, if he doesn't, people are going to call him a coward for, like, defending the person that the drama is about. Some real silence is violence type shit. And B, um, because people take his word as fact and people need the moist critical opinion. And that is exactly what I want to talk about. That's what I want to expand upon because I genuinely feel like that mentality is a massive issue with just people in general. Like <laughs> like that, oh, this guy online said it, so it must be true. And I have to change my entire view on something because this guy said it. You know, that mentality. Listen, being in a position where I have an audience, right? I have a fan base of people that watch my videos every day. I have noticed a trend where if I speak negatively about something that one of my fans likes, instead of them taking the route that I would expect them to take, which is, you know, they watch my video, they understand the point, they understand why I don't like it, but they do, so they continue to keep their own opinion, right? Like, they see my opinion, but they keep theirs. That's what you'd expect. But no, no, instead of doing that, uh, they take the route of, I like this thing, but internet guy doesn't, and internet guy says this is bad, so it must be true. I can no longer like this thing, because internet guy says so. That is the route that people take, and I genuinely think that is probably the worst part about the internet. Because, listen, what I've noticed is that if somebody on the internet just speaks with authority and has a good mic, then automatically, no matter what, he is right. Dude, it's absolutely insane, but that is the mentality that a lot of people have. Guys, you know anybody can do that, right? Like, anybody can go buy a f***ing Blue Yeti and yap online. It's insanely easy. So the fact that a massive amount of you guys just take internet voices as fact scares me. It does. Because listen, with my videos, if you take them seriously, right, you take everything I say without a grain of salt, you just, you change your whole personality for it, then the worst that's going to happen is, you know, you f***ing unsubscribe to Lanky Box. <laughs> it's, it's no big deal. But with some people on the internet, if you follow them mindlessly, you end up unironically agreeing with a man like Sneeko or like Zerka. Like that mentality is just dangerous. It is. It really is. And it's the exact reason why I do not do drama videos. And quite frankly, I f***ing hate drama videos. I've done them in the past, lightly, and I hated it. It was not fun, it was not fulfilling, and I will not do that shit again. It just won't happen. And I've talked about this in the past, I've talked about it lightly on my second channel, but with the new audience that I have, I'm just saying it right here, again, I do not do drama. I don't want to do drama. My opinion is not important, okay? I am not, <laughs> I'm not a person that you should be changing your opinions for. I should not influence you that way. I'm not important. I really, <laughs> I'm just a normal ass dude. And so is just about everybody else on the internet. Listen, I enjoy YouTube legitimately because I am in a position where I can make people laugh. That's why I'm here. Okay, you can call it corny, you can call it generic, but that's just what it is. That's what I like doing, and that's what I think YouTube should be about. And that's also why I think commentary as a whole has a very bad image because a lot of the creators don't think that way and make these generic drama videos where they take themselves way too seriously and they act as if the drama is the most wild shit to ever happen oh my god guys this situation is crazy and how could this person do this like it's I, I listen i understand that it's an act to get views like i get it okay you have to care about the thing that you're talking about and you know putting on that act like you do care it gets more views and ultimately they want to make money they have to get views. 
Now listen, do not take this as me claiming the moral high ground, okay? Do not do not misconstrue this as, oh, look at Beto on his high horse, because that's just not the case. I know that I'm like sneak dissing a lot of people, um, but it doesn't mean I hate them. It doesn't mean I think I'm better than them. I understand prioritizing money over making people laugh, okay? The fucking world revolves around money. Make your bag, bro. I have no issue with it. I make money from my videos, and it is definitely a high priority. Like, I'm not saying I'm any better than these people. And actually, my point isn't even about the creators. They just had to catch a stray so that I could make my point, which is, y'all motherfuckers take the internet too seriously. You do. Really, you do. And listen, I understand this video is uh, insanely out of left field. Like, hey, you're the brain rock guy. You can't be saying we take the internet too seriously. You crash out over skibbity toilet. And listen, I totally understand your point, but someone's got to say it. Like, listen, I don't want to be the, you know, stuck in nostalgia guy. I miss the old YouTube. I miss how it was five years ago. Like, that shit is hella corny. But for the lack of better words, I do miss old YouTube. Not in the way of content, okay? But in the way that it wasn't serious. Like, it wasn't f***ing taken literal. It wasn't, oh, this guy said a joke that I don't like, so it's gonna ruin my whole day. All right? It, it was fun. It was entertainment. You guys act like that shit is, like, gonna ruin your whole life. Dude, just calm the f*** down. Like, <laughs> I am strongly urging you to not take this internet shit seriously. I, I mean, I understand that it's like a joke and it's a roast or whatever, but go outside. Seriously, go outside. For real. Make friends. Have relationships. Go learn about yourself. Go experience life. And look up to people in the real world. Like, it's okay to be influenced by people online. It's okay to look up to them to a degree. But bro, if you got f***ing Kai Sinat over your own father who works his ass off to provide for you, or your mother who works her ass off. You know, like, that's just an issue, dude. It really is. This is not real. It's not. I'm sorry, but it's just not real. This is entertainment. And the fact that you guys take this shit so seriously is honestly the reason why commentary channels do these videos. It's because they feel like they have to. Personally, I am in a very lucky spot where I can just pick a topic that I think is funny and make jokes about it. And you guys like it. Okay, I genuinely, I love the spot that I'm in. But a lot of people are not that lucky. And they have to rely on trending topics to uh, pay their f***ing bills. Seriously, I've talked to people in the space that have told me the only reason they do it is because they have to. And I promise you that if you guys stopped caring so much about every little detail on the internet, YouTube would be fun again, dude. It, it Genuinely, it would. It would actually be fun if you guys would just calm the f*** down. I am urging you to use the internet as an escape. Use YouTube as entertainment. Do not let it be your life. <laughs> like, dude, don't let YouTube be your f***ing news source. Don't let it be your daily mood picker. Like, oh, this YouTuber did something. There goes my day. Like, <laughs> don't let the voice behind the speaker change your entire outlook on something. Okay? Let it be entertainment. Have a life and then have this as an escape. Don't let it be the opposite. Do not have this and then have a life as an escape. It's it, it's a terrible way of living. Genuinely, if you have to use something as an escape from the internet, bro, you're lost. Some of you actually get drowned in that shit so much. And it's, I mean, it's sad, dude. Like, honestly, the chronically online shit, it's fucking sad. Some of you people really, really, really let it affect you. And I, I don't understand it at all. And listen, still watch the drama videos, okay? I'm not saying you should dodge them or whatever. No, watch that shit. But don't watch it because you have an excessive need to know every little detail about internet drama, okay? Watch it because it's entertaining. Watch it for the person making it. If you like their videos, you, you know, you think they're funny, whatever, you, you like their opinion on stuff, whatever it is, make that your focal point. Stop taking this shit so seriously. And for commentary creators, I strongly urge you to just be yourself in your videos. Don't fence ride because you think you have to, okay? Pick the side that you're on and then just be you, bro. <laughs> Make jokes, be funny, be entertaining. Because as respectfully as possible, those of you that make drama videos where you don't really say much in terms of an opinion, uh, you just echo everything that you see on Twitter, and you're uh, being boring, you're just doing it for views, like, bro, you're not adding anything to the platform. Like, just be yourself, dude. Please, put some personality into it, alright? Be yourself. Anyways, sub to the channel, join the Discord, I'm going to bed.